Welcome to part four of my ultimate supermoto build series with my brand new 2024 KTM 690SMCR. In this episode, I will be installing the gorgeous and beautiful straight from Italy, the Leo Vince narrow full exhaust that is absolutely gorgeous and will look absolutely stunning on this bike and should sound amazing. Let's go for a ride. Subscribe today. No matter what motorcycle you ride, make sure you're wearing all the gear. And I have links to my awesome gear like this ultra lightweight carbon fiber helmet that comes with the automatic tent shield. This awesome airbag vest that I never leave home without to help keep me safe. CE armor jacket, shorty gloves, boots, all my gear. I include links in the description and comment section. It's time to unbox this beautiful Leo Vince narrow exhaust. That looks beautiful. Oh man, look at that boy. Is that a beautiful exhaust or what, man? Let's see what we got up underneath here. All right. Oh snap, we got full exhaust here, baby. Yeah. And I'm gonna take that baffle off too, because I want the full sound, baby. Check it out, it's got the hardware everything check this out it even has a tool to uh to use it to put the spring on this is going to be absolutely gorgeous on my bike okay let's go ahead to the garage and get this installed on the bike and see what it sounds like okay before we get started i want you to hear the stock exhaust sound which is really quiet <laughs> All right, I'm going to go ahead and remove the baffle on this, which it has a rubber plug underneath here. Stick it right there. And pull that bad boy out. There you go. We get the full sound on this bike, baby, and save some weight as well. Okay, before I install the exhaust, I'm going to weigh all the components and compare the weight to the stocks exhaust. So the Leo Vince narrow exhaust weighs 11 pounds, 12 ounces. And this includes the box, but I will be using the same box for the stock exhaust as well. Okay, first off, we're going to have to remove the fairings on the left side. Next step, so we're going to go ahead and remove this bolt and this bolt here. Next, we're going to remove the heat shield. Okay, next, we got to remove... The O2 sensor there using a wrench. Use the 18 inch wrench. See, it comes right off. I had to remove the canister here and the horn so that I get access to these flange bolts on the header pipe. These bolts are hard to get to. And there's a bolt here you remove here that's holding the mid pipe up. Now that I got the header pipe off, there is the gasket right there you got to remove that gasket from my understanding and you don't reuse that you're just going to use what they provide here's the gasket here that i pulled out i just used a little flathead screwdriver and popped it out um, from my understanding from what i saw in a video uh, that this is not to be reused so you're just going to use what was provided the stock exhaust weighs 14 pounds, two ounces. Uh, it should be pretty straightforward and easy. We'll just go ahead and connect the header pipe uh, in first and we'll put it loose. I'm not going to tighten the bolts right away. Um, just put them in just enough so it holds it in place pretty good and in position. And then we'll go ahead and then uh, install everything. And then at the very end, I'll tighten the bolts. Okay, so for this part here, we're going to make sure this is fully clean here, so I'm going to take some contact cleaner and clean this off here. Uh, this part is going to be fitting into uh, the engine there. Take a shop towel here. Go ahead and dry that up. Okay, then we'll go ahead and install this on the bike with the copper screws that I took off when I took off the header. Okay, so this is the way it's going to go in. Those two little holes is where you're going to put the springs when you're putting uh, the header a pipe onto this. Let's go ahead. You can see you put it up. I went ahead and put that on. And I put the springs in all ready to go. And those, those little holes there. 
So I can go ahead and attach the header pipe. You're going to push the header pipe till it stops and then you can attach the springs. Okay, here's the header pipe. Clean off the edge before I stick that up in there. In a shop tile. Okay, now let's go ahead and install it. There you go. Till it stops. Got to pull the spring. Use this here. There you go. And do the other side. Then we got to put the O2 sensor back in and tighten that in. Go ahead and put some contact cleaner on the end of here before I attach the end pipe. To mount the canister, you're going to use the bolt and spacer provided and that nut on the end to tighten it. You put the bolt, bolt on here and you put the nut on the other side. I don't know if you can see that. Put the nut on the other side here and tighten it up. You got to put a wrench, hold a wrench on one side and then tighten it up with the hex key on the other side. Now I'm going to go ahead and install the springs here. I had to take the springs off to, to adjust it so that this would fit flush up against the fitting there so I could put that bolt through. I went ahead and put the spring on there and I put the spring on here. Tighten that and then of course I locked, I tightened that up. So now it's time to tighten these header bolts here. Um, I don't know what the torque setting is for this. Uh, they didn't list it here. I guess refer to your KTM shop manual, which I don't have. Previous, the uh, MTL7 I had uh, to tighten it was 17 pounds feet of torque. So I'll go ahead and do the same. You want to tighten a little bit here on one side and tighten a little bit on another side, tighten a little bit on another side until you get them both down to the uh, torque specification um, tighten. Now you got to put the clips on here and here. One there. Got that one there and then that one there. Okay, I went ahead and put the carbon fiber heat shield and the stock heat shield here. So now I just need to put the canister back on, uh, the horn back on, and then put all, all the plastics back on. And um, we'll see what it looks like. I'm gonna turn the bike on. I, unfortunately, I can't rev it because it's like 1.41 in the morning. I've been working on this all night and I wanna wake the neighbors up, but I will turn the bike on for you. Um, so we'll have to... Okay, the plastics are back on the bike. The exhaust is fully installed. Yes, the Leo Vince Narrow full exhaust in all of its glory. Is that beautiful or what? Is that awesome or what? Leave a comment below. In my opinion, I think this is the most beautiful exhaust for this bike and other bikes as well. I have a link to this exhaust in the description and comment section of this video and they make them for all different types of bikes. So you definitely want to put one on your bike so you, your bike can look awesome and sound awesome as well. Uh, in the next build series video, I will be installing Rottweiler performance parts to take this bike to the next level. I have the Rottweiler air intake system that, build, that will be replacing the stock air box, uh, the canister delete, power commander six, it'll tie all of it together. So this bike will be performing at its peak awesomeness. Uh, custom maps from Rottweiler. It's going to be amazing. Also, when I remove the stock air box and put the uh, the Rottweiler air box, there'll be a lot of space here and they actually make a custom bag that'll fit right in there perfectly underneath the seat where I can store stuff. So that's going to be absolutely awesome. Stay tuned for that. The parts will be coming um, and I will get a new video out to you. And once this is done, guys, um, I'll do another comparison 
to my reigning champ here, my 2019 Yamaha YZ450 FX Custom Street Legal Supermoto, which I'm doing a build series video, uh, one more on that, because I'll be installing a stator from a 2022 WR450F so that I can run my headlights. So stay tuned for that. That'll be another build series video for that. But I'm going to compare the YZ. Uh, we're going to compare these two bikes after this one is fully modded out to the maximum. And we'll see if this can, can knock the YZ off of its perch. So far, in my opinion, this is still number one. Because the bottom end torque is just wild and crazy and absolutely this bike is amazing. <laughs> But it, it requires a lot of maintenance, this bike. This one is much less maintenance. 6,000 mile oil changes versus every 12 hours on this bike. So, okay. Uh, that's the main reason why I got this bike. So I don't have to worry about oil changes and maintenance and stuff, man. I can just have fun and enjoy this bike. But I really appreciate all you guys. So make sure to stay tuned for that next build video on this bike and the YZ. Make sure to hit thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, hit that little bell symbol that'll notify you when my new videos release. But I release new videos every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Stay tuned.